Hello, people of YouTube. This is Gray's Guitars. I am Steve Gray. Today, we're going to be talking about the levels of guitarists from this uh, GuitarWorld.com article. I do use this website a lot for my videos. Uh, Justin Sanderco, uh, I have definitely learned a handful of songs from him throughout the years. Uh, if you do not know who he is, go check him out. He teaches guitar lessons. Pretty good. Uh, he's going to be discussing in this little article uh, kind of like three levels of guitarist, how to, and kind of how to tell what level you are. Um, I always kind of pictured it as five levels, and I'll get into that a little bit after we go through this, just fairly short. So how to tell if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced guitar player. How many of us know exactly where we're at with the instrument? Rion, six-string educator Justin Sandercore explains all. People often wonder where they are in guitar, on their guitar journey. Am I still a beginner? What makes an intermediate player? What are the essential skills for each? There's no global system of merit for the guitar. There are grades you can do that will give an indication for theory, uh, scales, and repertoire levels, but many are classically based, and those that are rock and pop based tend to have these in uh, various aspects. That said, the accredited grade system is best if you're looking for official recognition of ability, uh, not least because countless guitars globally engage with them. I mean, it, yeah, that's kind of hard to grade it, being that um, if you're familiar with Trimia, Matt Hafey there, uh, I would call him, an, I would say he is an advanced guitarist, being he does a lot of crazy solos and stuff, and he does not know a lick of theory. Um, so it's it's definitely an interesting scale, uh, I guess, depending on your abilities and, you know, like how much you can do by ear, things along those lines. Uh, having some understanding of this journey can be very helpful, kind of map. Uh, that you can reference and understand where paths may be leading if you choose to follow them. Um, for me, a beginner guitarist is someone who is working on open chords, basic strumming, easy scale patterns. So basically, he's saying a, a, a beginner guitarist is someone that's brand new to the instrument. You know, you're, you're just learning, you're trying to figure out a few notes, you're building up the calluses on your fingers, things along those lines. For just like, for dexterity and preparation for later use and playing appropriate songs. Graduating from beginner would mean you are confident in all of those areas would include playing easy campfire songs with a degree of confidence. So basically, you know, you can do some chords, some strumming, some some basic scales. I mean, I, I would I would leave scales out of that. I mean, yes, music theory is definitely important uh, and can definitely help you, but at the same time, it's something that isn't needed. You know, because there's countless guitarists that are, you know, doing great with guitar, extremely successful, and don't know a lick of music theory. I feel it's important that beginners follow a structured course that gives them time to develop the essential skills without being overwhelmed. Developing a strong sense of rhythm, so basically using a metronome, uh, continuous movement of the strumming arm, and automation of strumming patterns are key skills. Uh, the changes between chords is not usually a problem, no matter how tricky it feels at the start, all this uh, is best achieved by playing songs. Uh, I often meet beginners that have been playing for years that are actually very good at simple things. They can play songs, pick up new ones pretty quick, and are confident in what they can do. For many people, this is as far as they want to take it, uh, though many want to further both their knowledge and skill. When a student feels ready to move to intermediate grades, they would start learning bar chords, uh, scale patterns, uh, eventually in all five CA cat caged patterns. I know I'm familiar with that. I can't remember what is off the top of my head. Uh, developing an understanding of harmonic structure and sensitivity to the music you play. By the intermediate levels, most players have already started to know what styles they want to play and must be ready to make decisions on what they need to learn and how to do it. Uh, growth that comes from having to make decisions is like those teenage years developing independence while still having a safety net. The intermediate years can be hard in the age of online lessons. There is so much information available that it can be overwhelming. It can be hard to sort the wheat from the shaft. Uh, many online, or, or you could say the potato, the meat from the potatoes too, if you want to use that reference. Many online teachers make big promises but deliver sketchy lessons Ask around the guitar community and seek advice if you're not sure, but beware of anyone promising big results within minimal effort. Uh, to get from intermediate grades, a student should be familiar with chords and major scales in the C-A-G-E-D system. Uh, be very confident with the rhythm, improvising with the major or, or blues styles or both, 
and they should have a bunch of songs they can play competently and be good enough to play in a band or jam on songs they know. Uh, and graduating intermediate players should also be refining their style and taste, deciding what to learn and what to ignore, uh, and realizing that learning it all is, of course, impossible. An advanced grade are for those who want to push their understandings and technical development on the instrument. Usually these students will have an understanding of what they want to accomplish and have some performing experience be a live recording. Advanced students benefit from in-person lessons or mentor to help them reach the highest levels. Lessons are often more conceptual than technically specific and one would study a new thing so it has to be incorporated the ideas into their own style. I recommend that advanced guitarists focus on mastering one style they love rather than trying to develop a broad range unless they want to teach or get into pit band or session work. The amount of students at each grade resembles a pyramid with beginners at the bottom and advanced students at the top. There will always be a hundred beginners to every one advanced for many reasons. Some will drop out completely, some will have taken time off while others will feel they've learned enough and be happy with where they are. So that's how I see it. Take a look at my website to see what students we need to graduate from each grade. At the time of writing, I have not been working much on the highest two grades. I'm still focused on helping students build an excellent foundation, happy practicing. Uh, so he's, you know, more focused on beginners, which there's nothing wrong with that because there is a lot of beginner guitarists. Uh, so my kind of two cents with theory is it's very helpful, it's very useful, but to me and a lot of other people, it is very boring, it is very tedious, and it makes playing less fun. I mean, theoretically, it could make playing more fun if you have a general idea of it or some sort of mastery of it. Um, but I played trumpet, you know, for a large portion of my... Uh, school career you know i think I, I picked it up in fifth grade i played it all the way to my senior year in high school um and then i was pretty much done with it and then i, I picked up guitar uh i think i was like 15 in high school and i actually did take some lessons uh from one person that knew no theory whatsoever and it was just teaching me basics and chords and then another person that was trying to teach me theory uh, and actually was boring me with it because that was the one thing I hated in, in high school was all the scales, all the theory, all that other, you know, all that other stuff that, yes, it's important to learn uh, to be a well-rounded musician, but at the same time, not everybody needs it. And sometimes once you get to a certain point, if you're just trying to entertain yourself and have fun, maybe join a band or something, you know, you can just listen to the song with a combination of tabs that get you in the general direction. Uh, you can play the song in the band if you're doing a cover band, and then you're good to go. You know, if you're doing originals and, you know, maybe you're doing, you know, writing music for like a pit band or a movie or a video game or whatever, um, then at that point, theory is probably going to help you a lot more, uh, being that you will know, you know, like, what types of chords go for what types of music, uh, you know, what scales go to what types of music, things along those lines. Um, I have considered myself, I guess, beginner intermediate. I, I'm kind of on the, there's five levels. Uh, I, I feel like there's, like, I mean, and he kind of mentioned this, too. Uh, in the article, there's like beginner, beginner, intermediate, intermediate, uh, intermediate, advanced, and then advanced being, you know, the highest, you know, you're talking, that's probably like your, uh, your Van Halen style, if you will, um, Sinister Gates, I would say, is up there with advanced, uh, Slash, I would say, is up there with advanced, um, you know, the guitarists from Metallica, do you know, you know, you're just thinking they're just ripping these crazy solos, uh, I'm not familiar with country, so I can't really tell you, um, country stars that would hit that advanced category. Uh, no, B.B. King, ooh, there you go, he would be advanced, it's more bluesy, but, um, I mean, I honestly don't regularly practice. I mean, I, I don't unless I'm in a band. If I'm in a band and I have a commitment, I will play the guitar every single day, because I know I have songs to learn, I know I'd be playing gigs, um, but being that I'm currently not in a band, the motivation dwindles, and then I go into more of my collecting habit, uh, which is, okay, I got this guitar, I've owned it for a little while, I've played it, I've made a video, okay, I haven't played it <laughs> in, like, three months, 
uh, I'm ready to trade this for something else or sell it and buy something else because I just like playing a wide range of guitars. And sure, there's a few that I keep. Um, but, you know, you get to enjoy it in your way is ultimately what it comes down to. If it's something where you want to get seriously into it, you want to be in a band that does originals, you don't want to be in a bar band that's just doing covers, then yes, take some lessons, <laughs> learn some theory, um, definitely going to help you in the long run. But if you're just someone that's jamming in your bedroom, you no know, jamming with a couple of buddies, uh, maybe you're, you know, you're playing covers in a band on the weekend, then you you know, there's you don't have to get to a crazy level where you're ripping out improv solos every two seconds. I mean, yeah, it'll be cool for the audience if you can do that to a certain extent, as long as you don't make the solo last 20 years, uh, talking at you 80s bands. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, other other than that, you know, that's that's kind of where I'm at. I like to classify myself as like a beginner, a beginner in intermediate, because I can do bar chords, I can pretty much pick up most songs with tabs, but, you know, a lot of stuff that has a bunch of big solos in it, you know, like Metallica, um, I just, I struggle with it, either that or I, you know, get annoyed with it trying to learn it, and then I just stop learning it, and don't, and then I just don't pick up that song again, um, either that or I'll pick, like, a riff, like, um, there's probably, like, a couple of ACDC songs, I can play the main riff, and then I have no idea what the rest of the song is, because I liked that main riff, and that's the part I wanted to learn how to play. Uh, I achieved my goal, and then I was done with the song, because I wasn't actively using the song for anything anymore. But uh, let me know what your level is in the comments down below, what your general thoughts are on guitarist levels, and what level you're at, um, your thoughts on theory, for pretty much anything you just feel like contributing to the video. Um, and you can even comment on what you think my level of uh, guitar playing is. Uh, unfortunately, in a lot of my demos, I try to stay away from covers, being that if I do get to the point where I can make some money off of ad revenue once I hit that thousand subscriber mark, um, if I have those, you know, songs that have copyrighted, even if I play like two seconds out of a Metallica song, no more ad revenue for me. So that's why I am attempting to force myself to learn a little bit of originals because then I end up going back to the old bar chords and just kind of jamming on the things, you know, I, I know how to do, you know, how to, how to kind of improv, even though I'm terrible at it. So that's where I'm at. You know, that's, that, that's what it is. Um, thank you for watching. Probably made this video a little bit too long, but hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, and yeah, comment down below too. Uh, my name is Steve Gray, this is Gray's Guitars, and as always, have a good one.